You know, like I was saying, you got people out here, somebody don't snitch. But at the same time, these same people call the police when somebody breaking their house and do that. I won't mess with the police, but they the first ones to call the police. Then at the same time, look how many black people ask them what their favorite shows is. Watch what they say. Cops. Cops, Law and Order, First 48, every show, Criminal Minds, dealing with the police. But these are the same people that say they don't mess with the police and don't snitch, man. If it's for a good cause, I, I how you say it, I encourage snitching. You know what I'm saying? If you snitching on somebody that's trying to come up and, you know, some little petty snitching, man, I understand that. But something serious and involving people's life and and livelihood, then you know, do what you gotta do, do what's right. I believe in doing what's right. Doing what's right, yeah. And that's all it is. A lot of ain't snitches that's doing what's right. And people want you to be dealing with their foolishness, knowing they dead wrong. Dead wrong. Dead wrong, but they want you to be all right with it. Like, nah, that ain't all right with me. That ain't cool with me. You don't rape the little girl and you don't want me to tell where you at? Yeah. Or you don't shot somebody and kill somebody for, you know, for some something petty. stupid? Some stupid. For ten dollars or because they, they called you a out your name or something, you gonna kill him? Come on, man, that, that's foolishness. Let me tell you a situation I had when I found myself realizing what's really going on is when I end up getting robbed. I got robbed, that's right after I signed. I'm, I'm telling myself I'm a celebrity now, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. At first, it wasn't registering I'm a, I'm a celebrity until people right. started noticing me and calling me, and next thing you know, I'm telling, I know what I believe in because I know my dad, he a pastor, so I knew, I grew up in the word. Then next thing you know, I get out here in the streets and next thing you know, I'm around so many people that are doing so many evil things and they trying to let me know that it's okay, this is how we get money. I went to a studio one day and the engineer, he had two computers set up and two mouses. I didn't know which one to grab first because I, I, I do a little mixing. So I grabbed a mouse in the pyramid with the eye and all that popped up on the screen. So I know what that means. So I'm looking at my manager, and he Cuban, so his face turning red. He like, like, don't say nothing. You already know where I'm, I'm at. So the guy who owned the computer, he saw my expression. So he looking at me, he like, so he slid his chair like right up in my face. He got up in my face like this, like, why you look like that when you saw that? I'm like, man, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm trying to play it off, because I know it's something demonic. I know I don't want to step on nobody's toes. You know, I'm trying to get what I'm trying to get. So I told him, I'm like, man, I don't know what you're talking about, man. I ain't made no, he said, man, listen, don't be afraid of the light. That's how we get money. Now the people who brought me to the studio, they tricked that in his artist, you know what I mean? So right. I'm looking like, looking around to see if everybody see what's going on. Like, anybody gonna help me out? What's going on? Everybody I looked at was like this. Like demons, like telling me, yes. What he's saying, niggas in there eating. Listen to him, this is how we get money. You wanna get money, this is what this is about. You know what I'm saying? It ain't, it ain't about what everybody thinking about, all the Illuminati stuff. It ain't what you're thinking about. It's positive. It's how, so I'm like, look at the devil trying to manipulate me. So what I did was exit myself from around that. And now that I found God, now that I have a good cause, you know, half of those artists and half of them people don't even call me, don't want nothing to do with me. My manager quit on me. He feel like, he accomplished so much stuff for me to get me to where I need to be. Now that I'm there, I'm backing out and switching out. And I'm like, these are the same people that say they believe in God with me. You know, I feel like this youth is more important. You know what I mean? They coming up under us. I mean, when I was growing up, we didn't really have too many people to talk to me, you know? But the ones that did talk to me got me to this point where I'm grown now. I can understand when I go back and look at what they were saying. So I feel like it's my job now. When I see somebody's child, yeah, that's your child, but at the same time, that's God's child, and I feel like that's my brother. So I gotta wake him up, cause you failed to wake him up. His dad's not there, and his dad not waking him up. So now he's being led by all these demon-possessed artists that's role models, and then you got nerds to come out with a show called American Idol. Mm. When I look up the definition of idol, guess what the idol? Guess what the definition of idol is? What is it? A god. Mm. So you calling these people gods? And you, God said, they gift and they talents. They're American gods. So now you got people praising you. When you look up these stages and you see these artists do like this, and then they got everybody else doing. You got people fainting and stuff. God is not pleased with that. Mm. That's why I backed off. I'm like, you know what? I don't want people praising me. Mm -hmm. I don't want the glory. I give the glory to God. Yes. And that's why I'm working on the album called The Rebirth. I've been mm. born again. You know what I mean? Right. That's what's up. God be the glory to all of that. And here goes the lovely T 
Tisha that introduced me to. It's my baby right here. It's my BFF. Yeah, so. My cousin here. Man, let them know who you are. For the audience that don't know who you are, please let them know who you are, bro. Well, I am a child of God first. Amen. Thank you. Yeah, and at the same time, Carl Lovett, a.k.a. Moet, you know, formerly of the group Pretty Ricky. I took Pleasure Peace place when he first left the group. Before four play, before lingerie, before all that. Got songs with some of everybody been writing for. I wrote for Whitney, Jaheim, Iceberg, uh, some for Pretty Ricky, uh, Anne Marie. For a lot of big artists out there, I've been behind the scenes writing, you know. And right now, I felt like I was on my verge of becoming the artist that I want to be until I learned that it's not about me. And, you know, now I'm on a journey. We're trying to uplift and wake up my youth and my brothers and sisters. Amen, amen. I'm glad to hear that, man, because that's what definitely, man, Tampa needs that, man, right now. And I think a lot of eyes are on Tampa right now, but all the eyes that's on Tampa aren't the right For eyes. For the wrong reason. For the wrong reason. Definitely money. Definitely, you know what I'm saying, taking people's souls. You, 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 know, you know what I'm talking about. You know, know where exactly I'm going with it. But about. also, it's, it's a lot of pastors and preachers you know what I'm saying? In the last day, they said there's going to be a lot of false prophets. That's I think we got a lot of false prophets here, too, that's running churches. And I'm just bold enough to put that out there and say it. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, I'm proud and I'm glad that um, the trials and tribulations that I've gone through, that um, God has led me in a, a, the right direction to be up under some good toolages, some good leadership right now. Um, and it's up on the woman pastor because there's a lot of men that's not stepping up um, in their role. Getting caught up in the, you know, the wrong thing. Yeah, so there's a lot of men that's not doing what they should be doing in in the word, basically. You know, we need we as men need to step up. I include myself, I'm talking to myself first. Step up and 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 take the call of God. You know what I'm saying? Are we gonna take the call when he asks us? Are we gonna say yes or are we gonna say no and still die in our foolishness? So I don't wanna die in my sin, man. Amen. And that sin is this flesh. You know, so I want to get caught up in the spirit, being the spirit with God when he comes back, making sure that my mind is renewed, transformed. And I definitely, you know what I'm saying, because I have a heart, a heart like David, I want to, you know, help these youth and help other black men and women. And it's not only about black, it's about the children of God. You know what I'm saying? Right. No um, Christ, uh, you know, the body of Christ, basically. You know what I'm saying? So that's. That's what I'm on right now, man. But I appreciate your time. I, I, I want to say one more thing okay, too, go before ahead. we get off. I feel like I'm going to be bold enough to say something, too. Um, there's a lot of youth that are afraid to come to church, afraid to know God, because they feel like when they find God, all their fun stops. They feel like they ain't going to be able to do something or feel like I got to clean myself up first before mm -hmm. I go to God. I ain't right, I still smoke, I still drink, I still this, and I want to stop before I go to God, but I, I just want to say, if you wait on that, you might not ever find God. Mm -hmm. Because at the same time, God says, come as you are, and a lot of people take that as a misconception and say, uh, come as you are, the way you got, the clothes you wearing. Mm -hmm. You know, I feel like that, to me, said, come as you are, meaning, if you smoke weed, come to me. I help you stop. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're an alcoholic, drug addict, whatever. Come to me as you are. You don't have to put on no front for nobody at church to say, "Oh, I stopped smoking weed and go home and blaze up one and got to hide." Because God still see you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, everybody else can't yeah, see you, but God yeah, still yeah, see you. Still so you be you. be honest with yourself and be honest with God. You mm -hmm. know, and He will help you change and help you get to know Him. So. Hey, I might as well be a preacher myself. You know, I'm going to call. This is an altar call. Uh -huh. This is an altar call for anybody who <laughs> does not know God and want to know God. You can always hit me up. And I can I can introduce you to him myself. Hit me up on at my email at T-H-E-R-E-A-L-M-O-W-E-T at gmail.com. Or you can hit me up on Facebook. Carl for Lovett. his manager. Oh, yeah. Hit Taisha Smith. T as in Tom, I A S H A S M I T H at yahoo.com. There you go. You heard it yourself. Man, you know what? I love this family <laughs> right here, man. You know I what? Love God, God knows what he be doing, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad that uh, he chose a time like this, man, to, to open some doors. And, and he, he, he took some people from around me 
so that I could grow and blossom because God don't want his gift tainted. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I really feel like this is a blessing, man. I really, you know, I can't really, I, I ain't going to really express my feelings like I really want to right now. But uh, it's a time and place for everything. I'm going to stay humble as you all Amen. stay humble, you know what I'm saying, in the audience. And you too, Mr. Moet. And you too, Miss Lo Lovely Young Lady. Amen. Thank I really you. appreciate y'all, man. I God really appreciate bless. you too, man, the nope. time for taking out, you know, getting to know my story and, and shit, helping me share my story with the, with the world, you know what I mean? I man, appreciate we're gonna have you too. plenty more, man. No paper, no pen, man. This is my everyday life. MB promotion, no paper, no pen. Blah. We out of here. Bye.